all now, and Kazeka is going to start opening up the master closet wall. Yeah, no impact on all that we've really used no, to see. No, that's what that, that was where my sentence was tailing off because I was wondering how the mute was going to play that with the nitro. <laughs> he wasn't, mate. Was the absolute answer for you to take away against the banner? I kind of understand it. And finally, that angle that WTG opened earlier strikes true. They catch crying to come off on the flank. A great nade coming in from Rask. That little rascal finding rips out the bottom of Attic, and now into a four versus two. Virtus Pro have got 15 seconds. We've said they've been slow a lot of the time, and now is the time to strike. Corey hanging up on White is in such a pivotal location. One or two bullets coming out, almost gets a double spray down, but finds nothing. Double or nothing, he walks away with nothing. Rask going in for the plant, and Karjaka will get that one stuck down as the clock hits zero. Corey in at one versus four. I think we know how these rounds tend to play out here, Ace. If he got that double spray down, we could be having a very different conversation right now. It was certainly a bit of a Hail Mary play at the end there from the top of White stairs, and like you say, if it lands, then we're in a very different situation, but Kozeka, after getting that diffuser down, is going to find the final kill onto the head of Corey to close out the first round. Virtus Pro lock down that attack of the door. That final reinforcement onto the elbow wall just yet, so he may well dip back through and continue to challenge into bunker, <laughs> but Rask comes as if from oh. nowhere and gets a kill onto Risk. <laughs> <laughs> Rips, we've Jesus. got a full white flash. Then we've got VP just rushing in here like an angry tide, but crying manages to find one onto WTG. I mean, the fact that you can drop through E-Box and just charge around a corner, pick up a kill, and then carry on with your charge onto Blue is madness. Virtus Pro showing that with that early kill, they knew where the weakness was in Rogue setup, and they push hard twice now. Crying has been dealt with on the roam for absolute free. And this should be another round for Virtus Pro. Ten seconds to play. Corey finds one, but traded out by Pasha. Virtus Pro are on one at the start of these Oregon attacks. Yep, Rogue, they're getting beaten up at the minute is the only way to put it. Take an aggressive line there and just keep himself fighting. Now we've got WTG yeah, and they Rask are. looking to stack up and drop drops. into e -box. He's done it. WTG comes around the corner and once again finds that kill onto Aces. Corey finds one onto Kozeka and this is going in both directions almost at the same time here. Four versus three. We find ourselves all in the advantage of Rogue as Virtus Pro have got time Corey. ticking away, men ticking away as Corey finds one. WTG does get the trade, gets himself a second, but he's got to get in and get a diffuser down here. <laughs> Can't be done. Time runs out, and Rogue, they're going to get their first round. Managed to get himself back upstairs after the initial drop, back inside of Kids, and ready to challenge once again. Crying then at the bottom of those freezer stairs, just moving his way up his mill on, on the white stairs. So there could be a problem here if Cryon moves quickly, but he's not moved quickly enough as Millon finds the Cryon. opener onto Aces. Leon Gids manages to get one, Cryon finally makes that impact that we've been waiting for with a kill onto Millon. Four versus three for Rogue here, but Virtus Pro are looking to push in. Pasha deep inside Dorms there, might have an opportunity to get the diffuser down. He's just very conscious of the man that is playing inside of Kids Dorms. That is now three versus three as Kozeka gets one for himself level things up, sprayed down from underneath, crying big impact on the roam. This is what we wanted to see. Kozeka goes in to make the challenge, but ah. shut down as Kryon gets his third. What a round for the Valkyrie. It's quite cheeky in a way, actually, where they're trying to get, you know, quite aggressive on the defence of this and say, you want to come and get it? Well, you're going to have to fight for it because there's two of us looking to hold this area. Rotero drone clears out the deployable shield, but as you say, with Kryon there in support uh -oh. as well, that's two ADSs going. Oh. Out comes the Nitro. What a beautiful view we just had of that huge triple from Leon with the Nitro and then he goes deeper and gets himself a headshot <laughs> Look at for the him. fourth. He's screaming in the camera. He knows what he's done. <laughs> Unbelievable. What a play with the Nitro. Switch for it and work through the clock because they've got 40 seconds still to play with. Aces back into Harry Potter as Milan steps out on the swing. Crying to strike first onto Rask and there comes Crying. A big 2k coming out as Milan also collected. Rogue really warmed up into this game. WTG taking his spot. Crying hits the triple, a 5v1. Is it another flawless round coming out as Pasha, the last man, the sole survivor, got it all to do to keep the dreams alive for Virtus Pro in round number six. But it looks like in a five versus one, this one's going to the graveyard. Ever since we said back in round four that we just wanted a little bit more out of that crying roam, he really has put the pedal to the metal there. <laughs> What are they doing? <laughs> Cryon currently finding himself sat on eight kills there and doing fantastically well. He's playing underneath with an angle onto that double window, waiting for somebody to hop in. Now then, 
I was going to say, is it the 200 IQ play? But it's not. I thought Crying was aware of Pasha underneath, but it's Rask that's aware of Corey. Finds his headshot. Aces manages to get a kill, but that's traded out by Pasha underneath. That rogue have failed to find. Now then, they do find them. It's coming from. They are working very much together back to back here. Crying, moving down those race stage stairs. Milon, he hears he's going to move across. Oh, gets shot. aggressive. What a shot across the top of the handrail. Gets himself a second. That's both closed out by Milon, and that is great play from Pillars. Have to go. Question is, can anyone get him up here? He's managed to get himself into the back corner, so should be okay. No one's on trophy right now. Not that they know that, of course, but this should be a safe res onto Milan. Backup is going to be the Alder is back online. What damage can it do? Rask at the bottom of window. That reminds me so much of Sloth from Kavana in Challenger League. It is ludicrous. Running around green, running up to windows, taking pot shots and taking names. Two in the round. Crying looking to get himself up white stairs here and maybe have a, a little bit of a flank opportunity. Rask. Does get himself a kill onto Kajeka, but Rask comes in with an absolutely what critical kill. And another for himself to close out the round. WTG gets in on the party as well. Virtus Pro closing out there first. Sorry, no, second successful defence. He was close. A real three-man effort to remove the beast of shower that was Pasha. WTG, however, finds one on to Corey. Oh, Rask man. comes in with a big double and a big game for him so far as he just seems to keep stepping up at essential moments. 11 and 6 he is as he gets downed and finished by Leon Gids, leaving us now. Time, time is his most important commodity at the minute as he's down to 18 seconds and he's going to have to make no. a move soon. Virtus Pro, they're just trying to force the plant here because they know... Oh. Now that's a big kill. Imagine. That brings us back to a one versus one for Aces. It's all down to this. Oh. Milan holds the angle and finds him. He knew exactly where he was coming from at that point. He didn't have time to rotate anywhere else. So if anything, the kill that he got in security was probably his own on Versus 3 and Virtus Pro. They are locking down the laundry. That's such a crucial kill as well, because Rass was definitely going to get killed by that frag coming in just a yep. couple of seconds later. No ADS is present, but now they remove yet another man, remove the last frag as well that Leon would have had in his back pocket. That's pivotal. Rips bringing one back. Is it going to be enough with only 30 seconds to play? Not so sure. Looking to get that electrical hatch open. That's now successful, but the attention turns once again to the laundry stairs. Rask still holding down that angle. Corey moves himself out to freezer. So even short-handed, uh -oh. they are really trying to get themselves a multifaceted approach here. But Rask, he won't even be moved by a Rotero Des. He steps Five out and gets ace. a kill. That's the ace for Rask. It's been brewing. It's been coming for a while. And Rask steps up and proves why he is really in charge here on Oregon. Yeah, and I'm going to punish you. And it. rightly so, because that's the whole point of the Retiros, yeah. right? It's Absolutely beautiful. Very much so a multi-use gadget, but in that case, the defender is not likely going to be forced to... No way. No way as Rask, Rask does just what he that. wants. He's like, oh, there's a drone. Oh, and there's a player he can die too. Yeah, just casually take him out. He will go down here as Corey finds a 2K. However, the starter, the damage came out. That is the ace being removed. One of those... He steps onto the door and takes a few shots, just holding him back. Leon's going to have to get himself in through double window and does so. 30 seconds Ooh. left to go. Kajeka down. This is looking good for Rogue. It could be a first successful attack. Oh, Milon! No, it's Milon on the outer. Turns it around. 10 seconds left to go. One versus one. Milon or health. Corey looking. Does he know that he's hard right at the door? Oh! Yes! He does. Corey goes in. What a wonderful pre-fire to find the man, take down the maestro and to keep Rogue fighting. He remains alive for another day and is currently lurking down in basement. You just never know what he's going to strike and do in just a moment. Game finally being opened up. The pressure starting to build up from Rogue as we enter those final 25 seconds. All 10 members still alive. This is going to get chaotic, Ace. Certainly is. Pasha just looking there to he is. aggressive onto the breach. Rask makes his move and finds one onto Crying. Two, finds two. Three. three. That's the 20 for Rask as he finishes off Leon. Two kills come back in, but with 10 seconds left to go, it's what Rask. Is this? Surely not two aces in one game. No. WTG takes it away, but 21 kills in the game for Rask will seal the deal for Virtus Pro as they take down Rogue.